It's been a few weeks since we've been working on the master suite. We had a lot of other things going on. It's time to get started again. Task for me this week is going to be removing that horrible glue that is stuck to the floorboards. I don't think there's any magic solution. I think it might just be sweat and tears and putting in the time to get it off. I just poured dry concrete mix in these holes. It's a little bit of a lazy technique. I learned it from a mason. But for this kind of work, it's perfectly fine. You wouldn't do that if you need your concrete to become structurally sound. But this is just to create a mass, a heavy mass to hold the gate in place. This will become completely dry and a big block. Great, one thing successfully done today. By the way, Anna just called my outfit very red and very ugly. And my only explanation for this sort of hate speech is Jealousy. In fall, we need to clean our roads once a week, get rid of the leaves, because if you leave the leaves on the gravel, they turn into soil, and next year you have uh, weeds everywhere. But there's a second reason why I want everything to be perfectly clean here. And that's because I want to do something that I fear so much that I haven't done it for several weeks. And that's activating the gate motors. Try to remember what I have to do here. Look, 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 look. It's doing something. Oof. It looks good. It looks good, but how far is it going to go? Now it's stopping. Why is it stopping? Is this stopping as well? Not good. Why is it stopping? It says KO, which means there's a problem. Um, this stopped too early. Why? I was desperate and I called the company that makes these motors. And it wasn't easy to find the customer service, but I found somebody, a guy who explained to make it short, I have to find out if the motors that drive the gate are turning in the right sense. And then I have to find out if all the sensors are placed in the right position. And only then I can do the auto set procedure, which I did. And it's complicated because, well, first thing to do, I need to bring both gates back into the middle position. And the only way to do this is with an external battery. 20. DC 20. 18, 20, that's good.
Ugh. I am covered in dust. I think I've been doing this for about two hours and I have maybe cleared one square meter. It is so slow, so I'm having doubts. I'm wondering whether this was a good idea or not. After days like today, I'm feeling pretty gross and achy by the evening. And that's why I'm particularly excited that this week's ad is for you. I have never been one of those people to spend a lot of money or time on spa treatments or products. And I have to admit that my skincare routine is very minimal. As I'm getting older, I've noticed my first signs of aging and I've recently decided that I need to start taking better care of my skin. When Fourier sent me their Luna 4 Smart Facial Cleansing and Firming device, I was really excited to give it a try, especially because it is clinically proven to remove 99% of dirt, oil and makeup residue. Even though I had my initial doubts that I would keep it up, it is such an effortless quick skincare routine and my skin has definitely started looking brighter and healthier for it. There is a super handy app for guided treatments using relaxing T-sonic pulsations. You can even personalize the treatments based on your skin type and on days like today, I am loving the deep cleansing mode and the neck massage. It's easy to follow the step-by-step -step guide and for those few minutes, it does feel like a little spa treatment at home. This product is rarely discounted, but for the first 100 of you to click on the link in the description of our video, there is 35% off. So why not treat yourself or someone you love? I had it all figured out. So what just happened? I tried to do what the guy on the phone said. I applied some electricity to check the gate motors from a battery and suddenly there was like a spark and there was smoke on the control panel. I think I just roasted the control panel. So I called the guy again, told him what I've just done and said, I think I roasted the control panel and I'm getting an error message, error 18, what does it mean? And he said, that means that you just roasted the control panel, which confirmed that I just roasted the control panel. But on the bright side, I can announce that Benoit finally, after what, a year or so, managed to finish the top cupboards in this kitchen because they were never made. As you can see, Anna still needs to paint them. And there's a little downside to this story. I kind of forgot to tell Benoit that I haven't finished the installation of the toilet upstairs, which needs me to access all the cables and the pipes behind here, which means that I have to undo this. Some people ask me how I managed to be still so happy and in good mood after all the problems we have here at the Chateau. And the answer is simple, my wife. She, she loves me, she loves me so much. That makes me happy. Philip, did you forget to take off your boots? There's mud everywhere. She's just joking. Today is the big day and I'm going to finally address the big grey elephant in this room which is the connection to the toilet system underneath here. The toilet, uh, my fault, I placed the toilet there in originally but then it turned out it has to be here and all the pipes are in the full ceiling of the finished kitchen. But I have to get a pipe down here through the floor structure into the full ceiling of the kitchen and then in the kitchen cupboard grab it and somehow hopefully be able to connect the existing drain with that one. Here is going to be the shower. So I just need to find the wall for the shower and then whatever is left, this is the toilet and perfectly in the middle of the toilet should be the pipe. Well, it actually also needs to be somewhere where I have access to it. It's here, there are beams this way. So I do need to find a place where there are no beams. A naive person would simply assume that all the beams have the same dimensions and they're placed in the same distance and then add it up and drill. 
but I have a better strategy. I just drill a hole and hope for the best. One, two, three. Let's drill. Let's drill here and see if that's if that's if that's good. No beam. That's what I see when I'm inside a cupboard. That's what I see when I look down. It's my wife and the dog. My wife being the one with blonde hair. This is the pipe I need to connect myself to. And here, I don't know if you can see it, but far in the distance. Light, can you see it? Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of light. That's the hole. So I need to come from, with a pipe from there to there. So we're gonna do a dry fit. And I had some leftover waste pipes. I realize I haven't done waste pipes for ages. For those who don't know, it's my specialty. As you can see, there are two types of connectors. If you were born before 2005, you know there are two genders, male and female. Now you can put two females together, but I prefer when there's male and female. And that's not for political or religious reasons. It's because if you connect a male on top of a female like this, you can be sure it's watertight. If, however, you have two females, you always end up with one female on top. And that means that it's only the glue that makes it watertight. I'm gonna glue it. Let's do it, let's glue it, as we waste pipe experts say. Pipe. I need to put this combination of pipes in here. So now I need to stop filming because I need my hand. That's where I am at here. Now, the problem is I need to fit this piece. It has to slide in here and then make it slide in on the other side as well. That's not so easy because this doesn't move anymore. That's really annoying. Because I need to be fast now. Okay. Yeah. Ta-da! We're upstairs now. Here we go. That's the that's our pipe. Hey. Hey. How's it going? I'm finished. Oh, amazing. I have to block it now though because it's connected now to the sewage system, so it smells. Oh yeah, I was wondering what that smell was. Yeah, it wasn't me. It was <laughs> the pipe. <laughs> so I put it in here in place. Yeah. And later when we have finished the toilet and the walls and everything, we can connect it to the toilet, but I don't know exactly what height the toilet will be. It needs to be at 18 centimeters from the floor. But as we don't know what we do with the floor, I have this temporary solution here. What do we do with the floor, by the way? Yeah, that's a good question. I wanted to talk to you about that. Did you see my uh, handiwork? Yes, I've seen that you've done um, a square meter, which is really good. <laughs> but I do think, Anna, that we yeah. don't need to take it off as well as you did. I think if you just take it off a bit more superficially and yeah. leave a bit of the glue, because whatever we do, there will be glue. Whatever we do, there will be glue. Okay, so you actually don't want to try and save the floor underneath. You just... No, forget it. It's, it's too, many, too many pieces. Look, it's already pieced together here. Yeah, you're right. It has holes. Okay. There's no way we can... No. What we have to do, we have to decide whether we go for wood, which we did in another bathroom. Yeah. And I hear people shouting, don't use wood in the bathroom. But it is possible, actually. I quite oh. like it. It feels less clinical and cold. Yeah, obviously not in the, in the shower. No. Because it's going to be tiled. That would be strange. Or we use nice tiles. That's also an option, but it's always difficult to find nice tiles. What's your point of view, guys? 
Are you team tiles for bathroom or would you try out wood in a bathroom? I'd love to know. Let us know in the comments below. All right, it was a bit of a week. Mm -hmm. Not everything was a success, but it was a success. My pipe, the waste pipe. Yeah. But as for the gates, I tried to reach somebody who is a professional. I haven't heard back from that person. Well, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, we have some very beautiful gates and all that work on the motor was for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I think gate motors are overrated anyway. Maybe we should just go for the kind of authentic, yeah. original... It's more pure and coherent. In the 18th century, there were certainly no, no gate motors. No. And there were people standing there opening a door. Yeah. So one of us <laughs> has to move there permanently next to the gate. Yeah. I ain't going down, down, let you, if you're going down.